Really good. Fell off the bone. That's what you need to do. This is the first two cuts out of the thick end. It's another cooking show, punters. How are you going? It's about two and a half weeks out before I get that fired up, cook some brisket, some ribs and stuff. But um, it's not just about the meat. So I'm bringing you on this journey because it's a good mates of mine birthday party. So this is also a bit of a surprise, but it don't turn off now because I'm gonna show you how I cook a bit of brisket, so half a brisket and eight ribs in the pizza oven. Hey, cheers, Vanessa. Wednesday afternoon, just defrosting uh, the brisket. Actually, took it out of the freezer yesterday, stuck in the fridge, and it's still pretty solid this morning, so it's been sitting out, it's still pretty hard. And ribs as well, we've got plenty of ribs. So I just thought I'd give you some insight into how long it uh, sort of takes to get this stuff ready. Tomorrow, I'm gonna trim up the brisket, shape it, and season it. Let that sit overnight, ready for our Friday. Ribs, um, these ribs are boneless, they're still uh, beef short ribs. These are going to be cooked at the same time. I'm going to marinate these in a, um, I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm going to marinate them in. A chipotle maple sauce. Thursday 3.30, we've just knocked over a few pizzas, we've had the pizza oven going obviously for that. See some coals in there. So, why am I showing you this? Because I'm going to keep that pizza oven going all night. Hopefully, um, so tomorrow morning when I put the brisket in, it's going to be about, I don't know, 100, 105 degrees centigrade. I think the last time I cooked the brisket was about 105 or 6 on the ground, like on the floor, and the dome was about 120 degrees centigrade. So that's what I'm sort of aiming for tomorrow morning. Time to trim the brisket up. Uh, three and a half kilos, it's not the full one, flat. I could have had that cut off. So I've got the tip, a bit of fat and loose stuff. So I'm gonna, as I say, trim it up and shape it, and I'll come back to you. Well, I've trimmed and shaped it up. I'm gonna keep these little off cuts, turn them into a mince or something, hamburgers. Taking a, as much of the silver skin as I dare take off the back. I'm gonna put some um, rub in it now, I'll talk to you a bit more about that shortly. Unlike last time, I'm actually using a yellow mustard um, to help bind the rub into the meat. I've already done the um, bottom side of it. Just get a really good rub. Get into all those little crevices. I also, um, when I took this out of the, the cryovac bag, I um, gave it a good wipe down with some paper toweling as well. Right, the rub I've got here has got garlic, onion, sweet paprika, pink Himalayan salt, lemon peel, mustard powder, chili powder, coriander, it's got a smoke powder in it, some black pepper, some cumin, bay leaf, ginger, thyme and white pepper. You get that into the meat, eh? Right, going to wrap it up, foil, stick it in the fridge overnight, just let it sit. Tomorrow morning, um, get it in the oven, uh, no different from last time. Your rack wide to the top of this, brisket on top, boiling water in there, uh, tip towards the heat source, uh, and a probe in there. Got two lots of ribs here, one with the bones in. Um, two styles of ribs here too. These, well, these two are from Woolies, and the other ones are from Costco. See the Costco ones got more marbling in them. There for tomorrow night. I'm going to have them for dinner tomorrow night. You'll see that. These ones are also from Costco. Bone out. <clears throat> and um, they're taking them down to um, have with the brisket at Bunya Mountains. So I'll take less time to cook. So what I'm going to do, I've got about two bulbs of garlic, a bunch of tomatoes. I'm just going to put cut the tomatoes up, put them in the base of the pans, Drop some garlic in. With these ribs, I'm going to season with that chipotle and maple sauce. Just rub it all in, stick it on top. Put a little bit of seasoning, some Persian spice spring, which I've got here over the top. 
maybe these ones as well. Um, cover them up and put them in the fridge tonight because we cook them off tomorrow at the same time with the brisket. Yes, Lee, I've just sliced up the tomatoes and dropped in the um, garlic. I also took out the tops of the tomatoes as well. Now, the last time I made these or cooked ribs this way, I used heirloom tomatoes from the Adelaide markets and they were really smoking great and um, really ripe. These aren't as ripe, these ones. So I'm just going to now marinate, put some marinade on these um, beef ribs and throw them in as well. I'll show you. These other ribs, um, I've put them in on top of the tomatoes. As you can see, with the garlic, bone down. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap it up in foil and I'm going to cook it in foil for quite a while in the pizza oven, low and slow. Check them out, eh? They're looking pretty good, I reckon. Just some of this um, Persian spice blend that I've got here. Uh, where did I get this from? A mate gave it to us, actually. I think they got it with a, oh, I shouldn't say a mate. I think it was my um, middle daughter. They get Hello Fresh stuff. They don't use the spices that much, so. There we go. That'll do. I'm gonna put some foil on it. And uh, wrap it up. And we'll quick it low and slow with the foil on too. Good morning, it's uh, 7.20 a.m. I can still feel some residual heat in the oven. There won't be any fire in there. Just checking the temperature now. The floor is about 121. And the dome is about 164, so probably a little bit warm at the moment. The cooking trays that the meat's been in have been in the fridge all night, so they've been below four degrees. So when I stick them in there, it's going to rob this of some heat. So it's going to come down a bit, so I'll just need to monitor a bit. Um, I won't need to stick anything in at the moment. But what I'm going to do is, um, I've got some lump charcoal and um, the smoking chips, of course. And I cut some uh, lump charcoal outside the oven. And when I see the oven dropping temperature, I'll put some um, lump charcoal in with the uh, smoking chips. And we'll see how we go from there. Got the ribs and the brisket out. Got the fat end, or the larger end. I have that in sort of in the center, facing the rear. Boiling water. So I mentioned previously, if you watched my earlier brisket uh, video, I've just used a baking tray out of the oven and one of its grills, or one of its grills, one of its racks. Now for the ribs, I'm going to cook them for about, I don't know, two or three hours, like that. And I just monitor them because they might dry up, especially with only tomatoes in the bottom. And then I'll um, likely put some foil over the top. I've got them both in there now. Just gonna, already put the probe in. You might have seen that before when I showed you the brisket. Um, the floor's already dropped a few degrees. Give you another look. It's because I've had the lid open. So it's showing about 97, 98 there now. So it's probably um, dropped a little bit low, below where I want it. I'm going to put the... Um, lid back on and go arc up some coals some coconut husks this is my little fire pit made out of a beer keg some coconut husks hardwood lump coal um and that's what i'm going to use to um keep the heat in the pizza oven the coals are cranking along but of course um the flame you see there is from the start of the coconut husks so i'm going to wait till they get a little bit more gray and i'm going to throw a couple of lumps in there oven with the um, smoking chips. Well to be fair you've already seen these, this is uh, what I used last time, it's the same as these chips. The last time I uh, soaked these in water, this time I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some foil and I'm going to make a boat, put the chips inside the boat and put the boat on top of the coals. Um, I'll do that pretty shortly. Um, it's now 7.50 in the morning. So these are just drip trays. I've got about three or four of them there lined up. That's what I'm going to use as the boat for the uh, smoking chips. Well, that's all set up. Little loose chips that um, I got from Barbecue School and the pine discs. No, they're not um, fiberboard, they're actually smoking discs. Apple. 
briskets. So let's stick a couple of coals in the um, oven and put that on top. A uh, smoke's um, cranking over. Probably might be able to see it. I'll see if I can open it up a bit and you can see a bit of smoke. Yeah, it's working well. Boneless ribs have um, been cooking for about just over four hours. We'll have a look, they smell right. I'm pretty good. I'm just going to test them with a fork. It's still a bit, well, not as soft as I'd like them to be. Um, plenty of juice in there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, mate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick them back in the oven the way they are. I might stick a little bit of foil just over the top, just so I try and reduce that liquid down. And um, give another hour or two. Just going to check this brisket. Um, I did have a probe in there, but my um, probe and receiver and sender aren't working. Sixty nine point four. I want it to be about. Well, it says seventy now. I want it to be about seventy one. But I reckon that's going to be close enough. So what I'm going to do now is take that out and wrap it up. Check out the ribs. Keep the ribs in there. But anyway, I'm going to take out the brisket and wrap it up and um, continue cooking it. Um. For a couple more hours. Uh, the brisket probably hasn't got as much bark on it as I'd like. But as uh, you can see, it's about 70.2 degrees. Time to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up in foil, same as I did last time. Unlike last time, I'm going to um, put this second stage cook in the oven so I've wrapped it up and stuck it in there with the ribs I'm going to stick a few more coals down the back there just to crank it up a little bit more I want to aim for an internal temperature of the brisket of about um, well it's about 70 now about 95 degrees centigrade just check and see what the floor is again it says 91 Roof says 126. If I want to get it up to 95, I need a little bit more temperature in there. So I'm probably going to get to try and get the floor up just a little bit. Not too much, probably about another 10 or 15 degrees and that's it. Back to birthday Vanessa's ribs. Um, they've had about six hours in there now and um, pretty soft. And I reckon the juices are reduced enough. There's plenty of fat in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them in a... Um, that I can take them travelling with us and cool down. Just brought the brisket back in. 95 degrees, that's about where we want. Uh, conventional wisdom is to let it cool down until you're ready to serve it, but make sure it doesn't go below our uh, safe food temperature, which I think um, is about 60 something degrees. From memory, it's in my last video anyhow. Um, this is uh, going to be wrapped up, well it's wrapped up and it's going to be taken away with us so I'm going to let it cool down a bit until it gets down to about safe food temperature and then I'm going to put it in the fridge. Oh you may want to know how long it's taken to cook that brisket to where it is at the moment. I put it on at about G8, ate something this morning it's now just five past five so you do the maths eh? Now these other ribs on the bone that we're eating tonight. It's I've got some potatoes in there as well. Let's see what the temperature is. 131 on the floor. 181 on the roof. I'll actually put some more coals in here because I want to um, crank that up. I'll pull it out. I'm going to put some glaze on it. It's the same sort of glaze I used on the other ribs. And then um, just crank that up a bit just to get some caramelization. Well, yeah, sorry about the noise in the background, um, friends, out for dinner tonight. These are the ribs on the bone, uh, the Costco ones and two Woolworth ones. They've been on there since about, I don't know, 9 o'clock this morning and it's um, 6.36 at the moment. I've got the oven on, 
uh, grill 195. I'm just going to glaze them with the chipotle maple sauce. Done job. Really good. Fell off the bone. That's what you need to do. Okay. What's that, huh? I hope you enjoyed as much as I do. Back again with the brisket. Um, I've had this in the oven for a little while now, probably about two or three hours. As you know, I cooked it off uh, yesterday in the pizza oven. Got it to 95 degrees. Uh, pulled it back down to about 65, something like that, and put it in the fridge. And travelled down here to uh, Bunya Mountains. And the meter app. Uh, says that um, the internal temperature is 72 degrees. I had a target of 63, but see how it goes. Got no idea. I don't haven't seen haven't seen any YouTube videos of um, reheating brisk cooked. You know, this is the meter probe, so there's a bit of stuff about that. It measures the ambient temperature, so it tells you temperature inside the oven and temperature inside the meat. Uh, there's some limitations on this. Um, no good in a pizza oven at temperature. Makes sense in here. But have a look at that. Um, I think it's a USA product. So I haven't unwrapped this since um, the second cook yesterday. Still plenty of juices in there. It's steaming. Uh, I don't have the tripod with me, but um, I'll try to do some um, vid here while I'm carving it up. These are the first two cuts out of the thick end. Still looks um, pretty moist, very soft. Yeah, I'm chewing some bits. Still looks um, pretty moist though. Soft. They'll do for dinner tonight. Brisket's all carved up. Got some gravy in there as well. Just try to get some of that in. It's pretty cold where we are. Birthday girl at the end of the table. Vanessa, try and ignore me. Some potatoes, some ribs, some um, leftover gravy from last night from the other ribs, some pickled veggies. If you want to know what the recipe is for that, let me know. Boss down there, a couple of guests hanging around. Boys out at the barbecue cooking the rest of the veggies. <laughs>